Hey, hey, hi. I'm Ira Glass and today I'll tell you how to create, I'll teach you how to create clicker, idle clicker RPG game in pure C language. We will start from the scratch and this is third, first video of the long series. So first uh, you need uh, to write hello world and today we will make environment for our development. So we will use uh, GCC compiler. If you are running uh, Linux, everything is ready, already there. But if you are running Windows as I am, you should uh, download MinGV compiler. I already made the video about it, but uh, yeah, why not? If I am starting the series, new series, I'll do it again. Important thing that there are different MinGVs. MinGV W64 and old school MinGV from OSDN. OSDN it's better because uh, more legacy code will run with it. So I uh, recommend you to use this WinGV from OSDN. Even at uh, GCC website, official GCC website, in binary section, you see that uh, actually it has uh, kind of more higher priority than WinGV V64. Anyway, I just some of the code, legacy code, which I tried to compile it in GV64 didn't run while this one runs always. So what we do, we just download the MinGV get setup.exe file. Uh, as always, we put it to the virus total and we check it, but yeah, I already did it. Then we just start it and install. What is, what is MinGV? MinGV is a set of uh, compiler tools and libraries for Windows because GCC compiler it's a native compiler for Linux so we will put it to the tools C tool tools but you could uh, put it whenever you want C tools and we will create a new folder min gv okay okay so now it will download itself let's uh, wait a bit while it's doing it Okay, download finished, so now it's run. And what is MinGV? It's a set of different packages which we could install. So we choose all packages and first we need to get compiler itself for to run C programs, to compile C programs. In compiler suite you could find GCC bin and click it and mark it for installation. When you do it, some other uh, libraries already uh, got installed, which we, uh, which is really good. Also, you will need a GCC G++ binary. So yeah, there are different types of uh, extensions extensions here, and we need only binaries. Do not need uh, dev or doc or manual files. So only uh, this. So we need uh, GCC bin and GCC G++ bin. It's C++ compiler. We also need it to perform linking. Then we also want debugger in source level debugger. Here we also get a bin file, and we need uh, our we need make. Of course, we will need make for to compile our programs to run them. Uh, that's it actually. So uh, we have compiler, make, linker, everything, and now we click apply changes and apply, and it beginning downloading it so let's wait a bit okay everything downloaded and now we could close i mean gv installer delete uh, inst installator and yeah we will we might need this later on so uh, where is it if we will push windows e we will uh, open file explorer and here we see in in the folder min gv this uh, binary folder bin and it's all uh, files which we will all, all packages with which we will run all applications but uh, to be able to compile properly with common prompt we need to add this directory this folder to the path so we will go we uh, go to the start menu here we press path path and add environmental environment variables here we go to the path edit 
And it's important to be careful here if you will delete something uh, important. For example, I once deleted this Windows System 32 because I just pressed Browse and uh, set it packages. So um, you need first click New and then uh, Browse. And here uh, you find your uh, package for WinGV for Bin. Bin WinGV. So OK, now it's here and we could save it. Okay, that's it. Now we could create our first program. So you could use even Notepad, even Notepad. Uh, I'll use Notepad++. So if you do not have a download, it's very easy to use Notepad++. Um, but you could uh, just use just regular Notepad even will go will do. So let's write our hello world to check does it work. Actually, we could even check uh, first if you will press. Uh, shift and right button here open powershell window here and if you will press here just gcc you will see okay compiler uh, installed so we, we see that there is no input files but it's it's already uh, in the path so yeah let's create our first program include studio h h then int main void later on we will uh, write a lot of code here and let's print hello world for the beginning hello world return zero because we have int uh, function int main okay we did it now we could again shift and right click on the desktop our shell and here we could perform command gcc 1.c because uh, this file you see it's at the desktop so we could do it after we uh, do it it's com it's compile and create our binary file so we could run it dot uh, backslash uh, a and it's right hello world so we could do like cmd and say a you see but uh, it's just the beginning. So we made our initial setup and our next video, we will uh, prepare our EDE and we'll c uh, create clicker. Finally, <laughs> we will start. So go to the next video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'll make full series about it and it will be very interesting adventure. Have a good day.